they're getting, I don't know, three incidents like this a week. So there's other stuff being taken out of the reserve. But obviously the high value species is the elephant. And based on the count done at the end of last year, the reserves lost over 2,000 elephants in the space of two years. Yeah, I don't like seeing carcasses. Organised wildlife crime is a serious and growing threat and our natural world is under pressure like never before. Every year, thousands of elephants are brutally slaughtered for their ivory, rhinos are killed for their horns and tigers are poached or bred for their skin and bones. International wildlife crime ranks fourth in the world after drug trafficking, the illegal arms trade and human trafficking. It's worth billions of dollars every year. It devastates our environment and is driving many species to extinction. It undermines democratic structures and fosters corruption at every level. And it fuels conflict, terrorism and other serious criminal activities. The Environmental Investigation Agency has been working to expose transnational, organised wildlife crime for three decades. Okay, tell us about the tanning. We document and expose international wildlife crime, from the poachers in the field to the traders who run the markets. We uncover the key trafficking routes from the poorest borders through to the corrupt officials and on to the criminals who operate with impunity. They know the risks of prosecution or detection are minimal. After decades of underinvestment in effective enforcement, world leaders are finally acknowledging the seriousness of the problem. With less than 3,500 wild tigers left, elephant numbers crashing and rhinos under attack again, this is a watershed moment and we need to act now. Governments worldwide need to implement and fast track the rule of law. We need to ensure wildlife crime is treated as a serious organised crime. We need to make sure penalties are meaningful and act as serious deterrents. Governments need to invest in and employ more sophisticated enforcement methods. Enforcement agencies need to share information and intelligence in a swift and proactive manner. We know the solutions and we have the tools, but time is running out. Our leaders need to act decisively and they need to act now, before it's too late. <laughs>